Folks, we are now going to take our template sandwich for the soapbox project and prepare it for use in InDesign. First, make sure you open your finished template with the reverse mask. Here is our ground template, layer one. Here is the finished or clean Illustrator rendering of the template for perfection and use. And on the next layer, we have our reverse mask, which we're going to use to knock out our background. So we do not print color in the unwanted area. Step number one. What you see is what you get. So we are going to save this template file for use in Illustrator. We don't need to see the base layer, turn it off. We don't need to see the reverse mask layer, turn it off. Because it is going to be a base bottom layer, a template in InDesign, it does not matter whether it's a PDF or a TIFF, it does not need to preserve transparency. All you have to do, file, save as, not an Illustrator file, even though it would work, but let's just make sure we make it a PDF for safekeeping. We do not need to change the file name because we've changed the extension. Save your file in the appropriate folder for your project. Illustrator has some default questions it asks you about the PDF. 90% of the time, hit save PDF. Now, that is file one. <clears throat> we need to save file two, which are reverse mask. Now, we did it in color so we could see it. You can't see white on white. But we are going to turn off the template. We are going to select, using the selection tool, the shape that we made. We are going to remove the color and make it white. We are also going to make sure there is no stroke on the file, and there is not, so we're good. So when you deselect, you should see nothing. Now, again, because you have isolated layers for every file, all you have to do is command all. It shows you the bounding box and also a little problem that we have over here, an extra, deselect. Highlight this little extra, delete. Always check and make sure. <clears throat> Command all. Now it's the size of your file. And it is white. We have to tell the file the fill is white. Go up under your fill menu, make it white. Select the ground. Turn something underneath on. <clears throat> Check to make sure it is white. Now, this is the tricky part. You think you're saving a blank file because that your reverse mask is white on white. I'm going to go below, make a new layer, fill it with a solid color so you can see you have that white mask. Don't forget, it's under your file. Okay, let's get rid of it. That was just to show you. Now, here we are with layer four visible, our other layers off and locked. Because it has a transparent or hole in the center, we need to preserve that. We cannot save this as a PDF. We have to save this as an Illustrator file. But we don't want to call it template. 
we want to call it reverse mask. We do not want to save it as a PDF. We want to save it as an Illustrator file. And there you go. File save. OK. Now, we are going to open InDesign. We are going to create a new document. I am not going to look at pikas. I am going to look at inches. 12 by 18. That's our standard page size in class. I do not need any bleed, slug, trim, margin, anything on this file because it is an object that is smaller than the page. This is not about page layout. This is about an object. There's our page. I'm going to zoom out. So, in order to understand what we talked about, we are in InDesign. I'm going to make a rectangle marquee box the size of the page. Make sure your layers are on. On this layer, the base layer, you are going to use a new function called place. File, place, or Command D, I am going to place my template. And there it is. Fits perfectly. Now, it's a bottom layer. It's a template. I'm going to bring this layer out and show you. Lock it. Make a new layer. Layer 2. Select it. Make sure you're on it. Move your layer to the side. We are going to make a new rectangle box. Make it exactly the same size as your page. We are going to File, Place, or Command D, our reverse mask. Open. There it is. But you say, wait, there it isn't. Well, it's there. You just can't see it because white on white does not show. What I want you to do is lock it. Now, you will never touch that again. The key is it has to stay on the top. This is the bun to our burger. It is going to block out any color outside of our bleed area. We need to make sure that we don't waste ink. So. The only way to check to see if this is working correctly is to make a dummy layer, click on layer one, add a layer because it always adds it above. Now, activate that layer, unlock it, turn it on, and watch. Now we will see what makes sense. New box. We are going to fill this layer with cyan. And now you can see your reverse mask shows up. If I turn it off, there's your template. If I turn the mask off, you see just the blue or cyan image layer. Pretend that's your artwork. Now you're going to block out wasted ink. That is how you set up the sandwich mask with a knockout or removal of extra information outside your bleed and your base template. You are now ready to continue to import or place art objects in your design. Okay guys, have a great day.